Hi there, here's a quick video just to show you my recording setup. Now, it took me quite a while to get it <laughs> to this point, uh, so I thought it might be useful just to share what bits and pieces I've got. Um, so first of all, when I'm recording speech, I found this was one of the um, hardest things that to fix initially, but the answer was very, very cost effective. So just to set the scene, I st started off just with a... Um, my mobile phone this is an iphone um, and these are great for recording video so these are usually good enough for most purposes um, but the sound i found was terrible if, if you are a few feet away from the phone it wasn't good at all so uh, the solution is one of these uh, a clip on lapel mic they're also known as a, a lavalier mic um, so this particular one it was 10 pounds on amazon it's like amazing and the quality is fantastic um, now this comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack plug like that so this is like uh, the type which you'd get in um, most mobile devices as a headphone socket um, so what i had to do i had to buy this device here this uh adapter to a lightning kind of cable um, for the iPhone. So I can't remember how much that costs. It's probably 20 quid. It's probably much more than the microphone. Uh, but that then lets me plug it in into the bottom of the iPhone. And this just clips on here. I tend to run the cable up my shirt so the cable isn't on view. And then just have that clipped on um around here is a great distance so it's not it's not really close to your mouth because um you know you might get too much breathing noises and things and you have to obviously just be aware not to bang it as you as you're <laughs> talking um but this is fantastic and that solved the problem so speech is really clear especially if you're moving around and turning your head doing things um so one downside is if you're playing music um then if this is on quite loud, it can distort the sound because this is really made for a voice. It's not made for loud sound. So if you're only doing music, then I would pull this out and I would record it on the iPhone itself. And it's fine being far away because the the, the echo and the distance actually makes uh, keyboard sound nicer, I think. So this is then just used for speech. It is fine again if I'm doing both, if I'm talking and I'm playing, uh, this will work. I, I'm just careful just to keep the volume on this slightly lower than I otherwise would to avoid distortion. Okay, um, so that's the cheapest way to use your existing phone or tablet um, with a lapel mic. So then you need something to put the phone or tablet on. So uh, I bought one of these adapters. Uh, this is one that, that goes landscape or portrait. So you can change that. It's got a little um, screw on thing on, on the bottom, which goes on to most tripods. This was um, 10 pounds, uh, Amazon. There are other ones that are um, like this type here as well if you don't need it to go both directions these can be even a bit cheaper and they're on a kind of elasticated thing so it fits different sizes of phones um, I bought quite a few tripods I bought some of these small little ones to sit on top of a desk um, and then I bought some freestanding ones so this one um, is a 50 inch one so um, that's not fully extended so that can go higher so, um, yeah, they're quite cost effective. I think this was only, this might have been £20 or a bit less, you know, for a full size one. Um, so these are really good. Uh, and a good angle if you're filming keyboards, it's good to have it, say, on the side shot to actually get your face and your hands and the keyboard all in the same shot. Um, if you're doing uh, overhead shots, I'll come to the full answer to that in a second but just a quick solution is if you get this as high as you can get it um, and then angle it down 
over your shoulder like that, that gets a reasonable view. Um, obviously, the tricky bit is it's it's going to be at a slight angle because you're in the way. <laughs> uh, but that's that's a very simple way to get a shot of the front. So if you're demonstrating a keyboard just to show the knobs and stuff and you don't need a totally top-down view, then that's a very easy way to, to, to do it. Um, the reason I say that is trying to get a full overhead one took me a long time to actually work out. It was quite tricky. Um, and it's a bit fiddly. So just before I go on to that, I'll just explain the other things I've got then in case they're of use. So um, when I'm doing mainly speech, say podcasts and things, um, then if I'm normally sat at the desk, I've got this setup that I'm talking now to you on. So this is, um, I've got a Samsung mic. Um, uh, this is a, a CU or CO1U Pro. Uh, it's a USB mic. Um, so that goes into a, a USB-A, which is the normal rectangular type of socket, um, and just plugs in the computer. Um, that one was seventy pounds, so it's quite you know it's quite a reasonable amount to to, to spend on on a microphone, uh, and it's quite good. It picks up the room reasonably well, um, but it's okay for speech when you're close up as well. Um, I then have got a Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam, which um, I can't show you because that's the one that's actually being used now. But that's a little webcam that can sit on top of the computer. Uh, I paid nearly £100 for it, but I think they've just dropped down to about £50 at the moment. Um, then what I also bought is some lights. So I've got these... Um, these lights are on stands, so it's um, so the freestanding, and it's a USB. Uh, sorry, uh, LED lights like that. So a little panel. It doesn't look much, but it's actually very bright, <laughs> and they're controllable. The color and the amount of light is um, is controllable there. So there's two of those. Then so you, you can get light from two different sides. Uh, on your face, um, they're about 100 euro. And I put blinds on the windows as well because I found that um, if the sun is shining through, it's, it means that one side of you is really bright and the other side isn't. So to, to control the lighting, I put blinds on and bought those lights. Even though right now, uh, I am just working it off the ambient kind of bits of light that is getting in around the blinds. Um, Okay, so that's the podcast type of um, setup. Then, right, the overhead. That this was the trickiest thing, and it, it works, but it's it's tricky. Um, so what I did then, I bought another webcam. It's 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 a Logitech again. It's called a Streamcam. The only reason really I bought the Streamcam because you could buy another one of the the C920, but I found it tricky trying to get. Um, it with the right connector to go on the end of a stand and then also I've got a MacBook Pro which is, is USB-C sockets so um, I wanted a USB-C camera because a big big problem I found is if you just get a normal USB-A lead which is what I had and I've got my monitors over here <laughs> Um, most of the leads were 1.5 meters and they weren't quite long enough to actually stretch so they were a bit too short um, from where I wanted the keyboard uh, and if you just plug an extension lead in it stops the camera working I don't know why I've tried lots of extension cables I've, I've searched for it online and basically people are saying just do not put anything in between the camera and the computer which means then you are restricted as to where you can have it and for me that didn't really work so what I've done in the end I've got my my actual I don't know if I can turn this around fully but the the actual laptop I set up here on the top there I don't actually need it because I've got I've got like a wireless kind of keyboard and 
mouse. I bought a monitor, um, and the monitor has got some USB-A sockets in, so that's what the microphone and the webcam, the, the C920 are going in, into the monitor. That is linked then to my laptop, and the laptop, um, which has USB-C sockets on it, has got the monitor going into it and this stream cam. So um, the the stream cam um, cost me about ninety pounds. Um, so all of that was a bit of a <laughs> bit of a mess. But now at least what I've got is, as the laptop is right beside it, I've got as much room as I want. Um, yeah, so I can change the angles. The the next tricky thing is how do you get the camera to be directly overhead? And uh, yeah, I've really struggled with this. So the solution I've got in the end is one of these, um, it's called a, let me get the name, a webcam stand phone holder suspension scissor arm webcam camera mount. So it's a suspension scissor arm it's called. Um, and it's got, I don't know if you can, probably, I don't know how well you can see this. It's got a, like a clamp there. So this sits on, on this ledge. So this piece of furniture happens to have a ledge on it. So I can clamp this on it. And then I've got, you know, the full movement of the, of the arm there. Um, and you can turn it whichever way. Now that, again, it's tricky. So um, if it works, this a scissor arm thing is about twenty pounds. Um, so that that works. But if you didn't have a piece of furniture near the keyboard and you didn't have the lip on it, you'd have to find some other way. So yeah, I'm sure there's probably ways of mounting them on walls and things. I, I don't know. It's a bit tricky. Um, but finally I've got a setup that works so um, hopefully that will be of some use to you and save you a bit of time. Thanks for watching, bye.